Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record and extend it to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading and first I will shuffle the deck four times for you. First, I want to see you know, what were the challenges of the past, what were the challenges of the past, why it all happened. They were quite emotionally unavailable and uh, they caused you lots of distress, disappointment. And now you want to get out of this, uh, this uh, blue feelings, this moody zone of all those regrets of that the past unsuccessful connection you want to get out of this out of this zone of overthinking and having all those regrets and stresses and anxiety about them but they were not uh, emotionally available and not very mature in love now let's see more details about uh, your current energies I see you waiting, waiting for a restart. You haven't given up. You still are waiting for things to change for the better and you hope that time will heal everything. You hope that time will heal everything and the connection will be uh, recovered. Now let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. What may be affecting you in your subconscious? The fact that you still may want a restart. Also, the idea that this person was not a very mature lover. This is one of the most immature cards, in fact, a page of wands. You know that, but still you want to restart there because you still have passion for them and attraction. Now, let's see, what is the overall energy? What is the overall energy for the time frame of this reading? It is this uh, painful ending that uh, that hurt. Those bad memories are still present. It's like they are haunting you, all those bad memories and uh, all this overthinking. The hurt is still there. It was not an easy ending for you. Now let's see about how do you view the situation. Maybe you are using your work or focusing more your energies at your work to distract yourself from what happened in the past. Now let's see about your focus and hopes. Now you want to have more clarity. You have some indecision there because you don't know the whole true story. That's why you you may want to communicate with them in order to hear the truth or you may want to to figure out what is the truth, uh, were they honest or not. And what you want to avoid is, uh, or what you fear, is uh, the complete ending of that connection or maybe the fact that they may have betrayed you. You, are, you may not be quite sure if it is a third party situation or not. And uh, you fear it, you fear that you may find out that maybe they were interested. Uh, in another person or they may have had an affair with another person while they were with you. You you fear it. You fear that fact. You want to hear the truth. You know some facts there. I think you may have heard some uh, secrets, if we can say so, from them. That's why you may have uh, those fears there about them being involved with a third party. Now let's see more details about uh, their energies at this moment. Maybe dealing with a Scorpio, some of you. Let's see, what do we have here? And they have been stalking you. 
They want to send an apology, but I don't see them having much feelings there. And they think that chapter is already closed. Now, let's see, uh, will they take action for the time frame of this reading? Uh, they need to make a decision, and I think this person may be involved with another person. But I see them being quite cold and detached here. Let's see one more card. About their possible actions towards you. I don't see much action. In fact, they may have another person in their mind, or they may be dealing with another person currently. And it seems like they currently are choosing them uh, and not focusing on that past connection with you. They are being very guarded and quite cold and distant uh, towards you. But uh, I will continue this reading in the extended and let's see more details there. If they have any feelings left in their heart for you, how do they view you at this moment? Uh, what are their intentions and also the energies of you, them and the connection? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you in the next reading and bye for now.